Our recession fears absolutely, along with interest rates, scaring buyers and sellers. Are they pulling back because of a perceived, you know, what's going to be going on in the market? What the heck is going to be going on through the holidays? More importantly, what in the world is going to happen in the spring market? We're going to go over that. We're going to talk about what the buyers and sellers are talking about out there in the market so you guys can get a head start and get a really good idea of how best to approach each of these situations. Now, remember to subscribe. It, when you do, when you ring the bell, it helps others get this information. And the most important part about that is it's free. Uh, there's no selling here, just really good information so you can make the best business decision possible. That's the goal. All right, now let's talk a little bit about our numbers because funny enough, when we take a look at what is trending versus what some people's perceptions are, those are a little bit different. So. Seven day running average. New on market, 1,159. However, we had 1,205 go off market. Now, this trend of more homes going off market than coming on market is actually extended about two weeks longer than I anticipated, which is a little bit of a surprise. When you look here, year over year, we have 2.7 less homes. That's about 10,000 homes. Over here, when we look at it month over month, we're down 420 homes year over year. Super important to understand is this. If we have more homes coming off market than is coming on market, we're again pulling down that inventory that had been building up since about May. May, the, the inventory kept going up and up and up. <laughs> it was following mortgage interest rates and everybody was pulling back. Now they're saying like, George, what's going on with the inventory? Why aren't we seeing more homes coming on market? Well, that's super simple. There's actually three different reasons. The big one is the fact that sellers are unwilling to trade their 3% mortgage for a 6% mortgage that we're seeing today. That makes perfect sense. They're like, well, that doesn't make financial sense to me. Okay we are going to see a natural pullback on that. Now, number two, seasonality. It is normal for our inventory to start falling this time of year as we start getting ready for the holidays. People find that uninviting. Reason number three, people have a fear that they missed the market, the fear of missing out, FOMO. I don't know where people come up with these acronyms, but anyway, they have a fear that they missed out on that opportunity and they're like, oh, dang nabbit, I can't do it, and therefore they don't. So that is the third reason. If our market was still sparking along with that perception, then maybe they would change their mind. But we are moving along with that perception. We are moving along with the fact that there are buyers out there. There are buyers that are willing to step up to the plate, price sensitive, can't, you can't overprice the home. Price has to be solid. And we are still seeing a few multiple offers on well-priced homes. Heck, they just had one yesterday. So if you think that, oh, dang it, no more multiple offers, that is false. You just have to make sure that you are priced correctly, all right? And or be open and asking the right questions. Because remember, putting your home in the MLS, in the multiple listing service, with your agent, that is not marketing. And I wanna be very clear with people on that. You actually have to get your property, get eyeballs on it. Again, using the, the, the analogy of a store. Look, just because a product is put inside of a grocery store doesn't mean that everybody knows that it exists. There are hundreds, thousands of different options, even in soup or cereal or pasta. I mean, look at all the different options you have. So you have to do things to bring it to the forefront. That's why they still do advertising. That's why they still market to you. No different than your house. You have to get it out there. There are lots of homes out there. There are people that their interests wane and when they see that right home, it's like, boop, here it is. I will have clients that will be quiet, crickets, <laughs> for 30 days, 45 days, sometimes 60 days, and then poof, here they are. They're like, oh my gosh, George, this house is perfect. It just came up. It's not that they're not looking, okay? I guess that's a double negative. 
Okay, they are looking. They're just waiting, you know, for something that piques their interest. That's why marketing is so effective. So you have to get that out in front of them so they pique their interest. All right. Now, when we take a look at the number of souls, we're at 966. Absolutely spot on. Now that number is going to start dropping down to the seven eight hundreds ish, which is normal because remember. We're always looking in that rearview mirror back here, right? We're always looking back because what happened, what closed today was under contract 30 days ago. So again, it's always in rewind where these are dynamic numbers along with this number right here, 1,235. That is the number of price reductions we've seen on the seven day running average. Super important. Understand for those buyers that are out there, they're kind of on the edge saying, oh, I think sellers, you know, they've lost reality. Hey, look, there's 1,235 that are saying, come, come look at my house. And you should, because that is a motivated seller. A seller that's wanting to say, yes, let's go look, okay? Super important. Make sure that you are being proactive as a buyer because sellers are willing to talk. Remember that. Okay, so when we come over here, we look at pended, we're down year over year, 19.1%, 16.6% on solds. Totally normal. When we take a look at it month over month, give it a little more perspective, even though we're down 8.3%, that's only 220 homes. That's pretty small, all right? That's the entire Northwest MLS, half, half of Washington State, all right? Uh, here, oh, forgot my little whoop. <laughs> Uh, so let's see here, 13.3% down on uh, solds, uh, that's 365 homes. Again, that's a really small number for half of Washington State. Now, if you have any questions, look, reach out. We love, love, love questions. Now, some folks have been saying, hey, George, last week you posted a gosh darn M uh, CNBC uh, interview with uh, Fannie Mae, and you said, uh, you know, that they were agreeing with you that rates are going to drop somewhere around Q1 and maybe even Q4, first quarter, fourth quarter of next year. My answer to that is yes, I think that is going to happen. Yes, they do support that. There's been a few naysayers, but based on the metrics, and if you go back and look at all of our videos in our history, we're pretty accurate, all right? Not 100%, but we're pretty much spot on and giving you guys really good information. So securing a home today before the interest rates come down and doing a refinance then allows you an opportunity to secure a, a home at a better price, less competition with all of your protections in place and then refinance later, okay? Hey, listen, there are a lot of ways to drive the car, okay? And you need to start thinking outside of the box because here's the thing, a lot of sellers are saying, George, what do we do to get these buyers in front of us? What do we need to do other than, you know, price? And we talk about uh, options as far as loan options, paying closing costs, you know, offering an incentive, uh, you know, as far as an upgrade or something, if that makes sense. Whatever that is, they're open to those ideas. Uh, buyers are out there saying, hey, George, you know, we really like this house. This is a great house, uh, but I need it at this price. My response, then let's ask. Because the only way to find out is by asking. But don't be afraid to ask. Now, listen, if you're going to present a, a significantly lower offer, make sure that the agent that you're working with knows how to present that because otherwise the seller will take an emotional position and say, eh, no thanks, get out of here, right? They have to be able to, I don't want to say sell it because that's not it. They have to present the why. Why are you presenting it this way? Why is this a value to the seller? How can you incentivize the seller to make this a good idea so that you guys can have mutual acceptance? That's a lot of things and making sure that the agent that you're working with understands that and can basically articulate that conversation. So remember that and if you have questions, post it, all right? We will answer questions, no strings attached. I lead my team, love, love, love questions. And in fact, we have a new person on the team, Robert, who's our transaction coordinator. Uh, he watches some of these, well, actually he watches all of them. And he loves to ask the, the really hard questions too, which is fabulous. You should be asking that same question. All right, 
That's it. If you guys have any questions, if you want to know, is our market still moving forward? Are we still doing very well? The answer is yes. Are we like Florida, California, uh, Arizona, Texas? No. We weren't in the past during the Great Recession. We are not today. Keep that in mind. But do remember, Seattle, Bellevue, Kirkland, Redmond, Mercer Island, and Issaquah all hit the top places to live on uh, Money Magazine. Woohoo! So uh, understand that we've got some uh, really great areas, and you just became more popular with the uh, with the people who read Money Magazine. In the meantime, I'll see you guys on the next video. Have an absolutely beautiful day. I will talk to you later. Take care.